Hi, it's Jacob here, and in this short quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can pair a Bluetooth mouse with your iPhone, and how you can customize the cursor that appears on the screen. So what I'm going to do is jump into the Settings app, and we're going to start off by going to Accessibility. From here, we're looking for the Touch options, and we're looking for Assistive Touch. Now, Assistive Touch needs to be enabled in order to have Bluetooth cursor support on the iPhone. But when you enable it, you get this little floating button that always appears on the screen. This is part of the assistive touch, but actually we don't need it for using our mouse. But don't worry, we can actually hide that. Scroll down the page slightly, and you're going to see some options when a pointer device is connected. That's a Bluetooth mouse for you and me. The last of these options is to always show menu. And if I turn this off, then when it detects a Bluetooth mouse, it's going to use the cursor of the mouse instead of the assistive touch button. So let's jump out of accessibility, and this time we'll go to the Bluetooth settings. I've got a Logitech mouse here, and I'll put it into Bluetooth pairing mode and it shows up straight away on the list of Bluetooth devices, and I can connect just like this. And as soon as I do that, as soon as it connects, you're going to see a little cursor appear on the screen, just like you might get on the iPad if you've used the iPad recently. Mine's got a little orange ring around it, but that doesn't happen by default. Let me show you how we can customise this cursor. So using the mouse now, which feels a bit surreal to use, I'm going to press the back button, and I'm going back to those accessibility settings. This time we're not going to assistive touch, although that is enabled in the background, but you notice you can't see that black button anymore. I'm going all the way down to where it says Accessories. And now you've got a Bluetooth mouse connected, there'll be an option here for the pointer control. And at this stage, we can customise exactly how that mouse pointer looks on our screen. We can make it a little bit smaller if we want to. We can make it absolutely massive if you need to. You can choose the size that works best for you. And then once you've chosen the size, you can choose the outline colour as well if you want to. You can have no colour on the outline of your cursor, or you can choose one of the colours here. I quite like orange, it kind of matches my new phone. And you can change the thickness of that border as well if you want to. So you can really personalise how this looks. Let's jump back one more page, and we're going to look at the increased contrast option at the top here. If I turn that on, my cursor becomes more visible by making it slightly darker against the light background, and slightly lighter against the dark background. And just like that, we've now connected a Bluetooth mouse to our iPhone, and we're using it to control the device instead of touching the screen. And it really is such a useful feature to have. If I taught you something new in this video, please do consider checking out the rest of my YouTube channel down below. There are hundreds more iPhone quick tips to help you make the most of your device. And maybe you might subscribe while you're there as well. That's it. I'll see you next time for another iPhone Quick Tip.